Hi, Mr. Chairman. It's Aussie Villain. Look, mate, you're in the championship five years ago, so don't talk to me about European disappointment. Apology accepted, sir. Uh, now listen, I was thinking, let's expand Hillsborough again. Yeah, I know we only just did it, but come on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And what about the youth facilities? Yeah, they do need improving, don't they? Thank you, sir. And what about... Okay, you're right, that's enough for one day. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villa and welcome to Season 5, Episode 9 here at Sheffield Wednesday as we look to lead the team to Champions League glory here on FM21. And today, well, there is no Champions League, that's all done for the year. But uh, we have two huge games over the festive uh, period. It is a derby, the derby against Sheffield United first up and then we play Manchester United, both in the Premier League. It's, it's going to be tough, it's going to be exciting. Let's hope we can get uh, at least four points from those two games. But uh, the big news since last episode, there is a little bit is first of all that we are expanding Hillsborough again, Seven, uh, sorry, 27 million, it'll be done by the end of the season, or the beginning of next season more or less, um, so 52,500 seats more or less, so that's, uh, that's exciting, that'll be uh, something to look forward to, and we are also expanding or upgrading the youth facilities again, 4 million pounds on that, we couldn't quite manage to do the, um, the senior facilities, which is annoying, it didn't give me the option to ask, um, but uh, anyway, that's good. Off the field, we are taking a step forward. Now, other news. We have got our youth intake preview. And as we can see there, it is a lot of yellow, which we don't particularly like. But just purely based off the green, it looks like we have a good striker coming through. Um, so that's, that's always a positive. You can never have too many good strikers, can you? So that's something. But other than that... Um, there is absolutely nothing coming through this intake. Now, I don't know if that's down to our head of youth development. Maybe not being the best, but he should be fine. I mean, he's he's, he's quite good. So I'm a little bit um, at a miss, I, I guess, to understand exactly why the intake isn't fantastic. But uh, it is what it is, and hopefully it will improve in the future. Maybe we can get, maybe, I don't know. I don't really understand exactly what how the, the staff improved the intakes. I'm sure they do. I know they do, as a fact, but I don't really understand it. But anyway, that is that. Now, there are three games to catch you up on since last episode, one of which the Carabao Cup tie. If you haven't seen the special video we did yesterday for episode eight of the series, go back and watch that. It's just the Manchester City game um, in the Carabao Cup, so I don't want to spoil that just yet, but go and watch that. It was a, it was a good game. I think we can all agree. That's not giving away a result, by the way. It was just a good game. And uh, let's go and have a look and see how we've done in the in, the, well, in all three games. We'll recap the City game as well. Uh, first up, it was, who was it again? It was Brentford in the Premier League. We had a first half lead through Jabing. Brentford pulled level midway through the second half. But Bellic secured the three points. So a game that we very, very much deserved to win, and although we left it late, we did get there. You can see we had two disallowed goals for Gould, both offside. We hit the post at one point as well. Um, now, of course, offside goals don't count towards the XG, but trust me, we, we, we really did deserve to win this game. Jabing's free kick, he's beginning to really, really fit into the side nicely. He did well. Bellic, what a bullet header that was. Um, and yeah, a good solid three points as we look to rebuild our season after a horrifying European campaign. Uh, next up, of course, we did play Manchester City in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Let's relive it. Let's have a quick uh, recap of the highlights. Abel Ruiz gave us a first half lead, but Manchester City sent the tie to penalties. So we don't really need to say too much. Obviously, we won the Marathon, Marathon, Marathon shootout. Uh, down to 10 men. We defended heroically at the end. The XG, you can see it really did uh, build up. <laughs> but we got the job done. That's the main thing. Really, really happy with that. And it's going to be Tottenham in the semi-finals. We didn't get Manchester. We didn't get Birmingham City. But we also avoided Manchester United. So uh, middle ground there. But yeah, that was... Um, a really, really good performance from us, especially, as I said, down to 10 men as well. Brilliant stuff. Our final game to catch you up on was against Newcastle. Now, this meant, of course, we were coming up against Dominic Solanke. Let's see if he would come back and haunt us. We fell behind early in the second half. Bellic quickly had us level. And Newcastle gifted us the lead. Before Jabing's good work was finished by Razzini. And Bellic's second secured the points. But Newcastle got a late consolation. So there we go, three more points. Excellent stuff. We did deserve to win the game. It wasn't much of a first half. I mean, I think XG kind of tells you what roughly happened in the first half. Second half, we were brilliant. Um, 
the game opened up a lot. Bellic with two more goals uh, and Razzini with the own goal gift as well, of course. But um, yeah, good solid win this one. Bellic, though, his contract's up at the end of this year. I was willing to let him go. But three goals in three games or two games, however many it was, um, I've offered him a new contract. I just, he, he's convinced me. Um, as a squad player that's happy to be a squad player, I don't think we, we, we could ask for too much more. Someone in a big, big threat, of course, from a set piece as well. Um, though we did see his clearance or should we say attempted clearance, end up in the back of the net there. Um, but yeah, really, really good. A quick look at what all this means for the league table. Um, you can see there we've got Tottenham, two-leg semi-final. We are away from home in the first leg. Um, I think my plan is we'll show the second leg of that one. But um, it's just uh, the fixture schedules are just not working out for me this season, are they? But this is the league table. We are now inside the European places. Sheffield United inexplicably are above us. Um, and Manchester United are topping the league. So when I say it was two huge games today, not kidding. Usually I always say that because, you know, trying to make the episode sound appealing. It's actually two big games today. Um, a Sheffield derby, a Steel City derby with both teams in, in you know, chasing down Europe. That is something, isn't it? Um, FA Cup third round tie. Did I mention we're playing Bristol? I think I did. Um, and of course the Carabao Cup semi-final there as well. So let's get into things. Let's have a look at what we're doing here against the Blades. And we're expecting, as you can see here, a 4-3-3 from them. And this is the team that we are sending out. Now, this game is coming two days after the Newcastle game. We've had one day off. So basically, we've had a complete switch around of the team that played Newcastle. And that's how we've landed on this lineup. So it's Bevqua in goal. It's Taimon, Carmo, Schurz, and Del Prato as the back four. William McQuaid in behind Cook and Pippi in midfield. It's Edwards and Castrati. It's Sam Gould up top. Um... In terms of injuries, Mendel hilariously has broken his collarbone, but he's he's going off to China, so that's uh, that's fine. Bruma has picked up an injury, ten days to three weeks, so that's a little bit frustrating. But he hasn't been playing well anyway, so it's not a massive loss. And B and Navy and are missing this one. They've had uh, I think they just had cuts or minor injuries anyway, but they're unavailable for this one, which means we'll probably see them both against Manchester United, and Razzini, as you can see, played against Newcastle, and he is not fit to take part in this one. So that's the team we've got. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we can see the lineups. Brendan Rodgers, of course, is still the Sheffield United manager. And you've got to give it to him. He is doing a good job there, isn't he? Um, go out there, give the fans their money's worth. We are away from home for this one. Um, let's go out there and enjoy it then, boys. If we're away from home, let's point our fingers. Let's say we have faith in you. And let's hope we put on a good show. And here it is. Let's hope we can uh, send the faithful of the Blades home disappointed here and continue what is a decent run of form in the league that we're on. Um, we've got some defending to do here, though. It's away by Carmo. Del Prato completes the clearance, kind of. Castrate can't quite get to that. Chance of the break. We know what Castrate and Edwards can do on the break. Um, this is a big game. Oh, there's a good pass. Bevacqua is there. Makes the save, did he? Or was it off the post? And here we go on the break. Edwards. He's got Gould up there with him. Castrate will be catching up quickly and it's tackled away. And that, in all likelihood, will do it for the for the highlights. Um, big game for Pippi, this one. We're getting to the point where we're running out of... Well, I'm running out of faith in him. Um, I, I, honestly, he's still getting picked from that performance he did against Wolves. And I know I go on about that every time I pick him. It, he was superb. And we've just never seen anything like that from him again. Um, all right, we're going to try exploiting the middle here, given that that is where Pippi is. Um... Cook is looking aggressive, which isn't ideal. We'll encourage them again. Um, and we're not seeing much of a game here, are we? All right, we've got a corner. Edwards, can we get... Oh, it's headed away. Del Prato, he gets there first. Edwards, he has a second chance at it. There's players in the box. Edwards, oh, he's gone down. I think it's outside. I think he's been touched outside the box and fallen into it. Just based off the positioning of the defender. But we'll take a penalty. And if we were to get a penalty, I don't know who would take it. Um, scrapping my brain to try and figure out who it would be. I don't I don't think it's a penalty anyway, but I honestly have no idea who would take it if it was. Maybe the striker, Sam Gould. It is no penalty, so we don't have to worry about it. Free kick, though, in a dangerous position. Can we find one of the heads of one of our teammates here, Mr. Edwards? Goes, it's a good ball. Oh, it's headed away. And there's no one at the edge of the area. Cook's a little bit slow. He should be able to get to that. Should they use your body, Lewis? Oh, dear. They're streaming forward. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Don't do it. Not before half time. Oh, Cook does really well, but we've got a corner to defend at the other end now. Uh, let's try lowering our tempo down, see if that works for us. 
But first off, of course, we need to defend this corner. It's away by McQuaid, kind of, for another kick. And that ends the highlight. That's fine. And there we go. Well, not much excitement, if we're honest. But nil-nil at the break. Um, I'm going to say we're not happy with that. We're going to pump our fists, say we have faith in them. And... Do we... What do we do? Pippi only playing a 6.4 again. I don't, I don't understand how to get the best out of him. All right, do we? Maybe we tell him to roam from position. Let's give him a little bit of a free roll in there. Um, let's take it off, exploit the middle. I wonder if we try space and work the ball into the box. Slightly higher tempo. We'll try that, see if it works. Um, yeah, the other thing we can look to do is out and out strikers, out and out wingers, sorry. Gould as a um, deep liar isn't working, so let's try him as a complete forward. Encourage them again. And there's nothing happening. Okay, so we're going to make changes. Who do we have on the bench? Um... All right, well, I think the first port of call is probably go out and out wingers and look to exploit the wide uh, wide areas. So we'll do that. Let's take it off that. I'm never convinced by that anyway. Um, and if we're going to do that, we probably want a higher tempo. We probably want to be slightly more direct as well, don't we? They're not really uh, threatening us, so let's go and counter-press them. Um... I don't want to open up too much. I mean, away from we've seen where they are in the league, and away from home is not going to be a bad point. Uh, we'll give Pippi. Come on, Pips. I believe in you, I think. Um, they're looking motivated, so we're, no, it's, uh, it's just not working, is it? Um, all right, so we will take... Last chance, Pips. Last chance. This is your final, final chance. Uh, McQuaid's not very good at getting forward like that. So let's take him off for Samare. Uh, that's no comment on the way he's playing. He's done as well as anybody else has. Um, but it is what it is. Cook, uh, let's maybe let you, let's maybe just sit you in. It is still nil-nil after all. What we don't want to do is find ourselves behind in a game here. Oh, I can't, Pippi. I just can't. I can't justify it. Let's go two up top. It's very, very attacking. It's, you might say, suicide stuff here. But we want the three points, don't we? We might end up with nothing. And I'll really regret it if we do. But there has been absolutely nothing in this game, has there? All right, we've got a late, late highlight. Can it be, hopefully, for us? Castrate's there, loses out, wins it back, does he? Eventually. No, he doesn't. It's going to come up the other end. Win that, please. Oh, we can't. Sure's. Carmo, somebody do something. No, you've time on. You've left your man. Time on. Oh, big save from Bevacqua. And we've got a corner to defend. We've got another highlight. 30 seconds to play. Is there going to be late, late drama in the Steel City derby? Castrate goes on a run. It falls out for Samare. Edwards can't quite get there. Time on should pick it up, though. Everybody's getting stuck in. It's uh, really livened up stoppage time, hasn't it? We only had to wait 90 minutes for some action. Carmo across to Schurz. He gets it wide for time on. Back in for Cook. Cook looking for the run of Edwards. Marcus Edwards is in. Marcus. Oh. He's gone for the dink. And he could have won it for us with the final kick of the game. But in the end, it's disappointment really, isn't it? We were the second best team in that game as well. Do we say we're not happy? I guess so. So there we go. We stay in the European places for now. I don't think anybody can overtake us, can they? No. So we are going to be at the halfway point of the season. We are in the European places. So that's not too bad, you know, realistically speaking. Obviously, we would like it to be going a little bit better than that and be sort of more in the in the uh, challenge for um, for Champions League. We'll put our arm around him. Um, what do we say here? I have every faith in you, mate. And, uh, well, there we go. Don't know who that is. Wait right there, though, guys. We're, I think we're going to Old Trafford, aren't we? Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Yes, we're off to Old Trafford. New Year's Day. Window will be open. That means Mendel will have left, I think, hopefully. Um, so wait right there. We'll be back for that and hopefully some goals. 
Okay, welcome back. Happy New Year. It is now January 1st, 2025, and there is a lot to catch you up on since last game, even though it's been just a couple of days in the game here. Now, Pippi has won the Asian Young Footballer of the Year. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a surprise in the sense he's clearly a very talented footballer. It is a surprise in the sense that he's been absolutely woeful for us. Though that said, his average rating isn't too high, isn't too bad. Um... Yeah, I don't really understand. I don't understand Pippi. Golden Boy was not one of ours. Bazunu has won Irish Player of the Year. He was really impressive in that. I mean, because it's the year, so he did play. It wasn't our first team last year, but that, you know that two those two Carabao Cup starts he's had for us this year, he was quite impressive. He's won the uh, the Young Player of the Year as well. Um, and there's the African Award winners. If anyone's interested, nobody of uh, of our parish involved in that. But there's more because obviously the window is open, not for us. So we haven't got in um, our young Colombian centre back yet, but it's opened in China. So that means that Mendel has officially left us 11.25 million. Excellent stuff. So he's gone off there. He's on 50 grand a week. He's an important player, and I'm sure he'll have a good time over there. Um, but David Carmo has come under some interest, which is interesting. Um, you can see we have accepted a bid of £33 million for him, uh, because I think that's a, that's a ridiculous bid, to be honest. The question is, can we replace him for that? We'll deal with that problem when we get there. But if he leaves, we already have the Colombian coming in. That's one for one, and you know that, that kind of works out. We have discovered a wonder kid that's available on a free transfer, so we've put a bid in for him, or a contract offer in for him, so we'll see if that comes off. Um, he can play a little bit of everywhere, so that's perfect. I'll show you what, what I mean by that. He can play anywhere up the spine of the team. So um, he would be a useful player to get in, if nothing else. So we'll see what becomes of that. And the other player, Samare, has had a bid come in for him. We're not going to sell him unless it's, it's a silly bid at this point. Uh, and I think, was that it? It was just the Carmo trying to get the bid up for Carmo to a higher amount. So, well, yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens with that. So, yeah, it's been a very busy couple of days. Since uh, since the Sheffield United game, and yeah, we'll just kind of, as I said, see what happens here. A lot of interest in China, a little bit was well, Schalke as well. So we'll see if we can edge that bid up closer to forty million, and uh, or then we'll look to replace him if from when we get that money in. And speaking of money, uh, I don't want this to go on too long, but eighteen million in the bank now. Sorry, in the transfer budget now with the sale of Mendel, fifty-one million in the bank. Obviously, we spent a little bit of money on upgrading the stadium and facilities. Um, but yeah, halfway through the year, that's that's not a bad place to be. Now, Manchester United, here we come. It is a four-two-three-one formation we're looking at from them. I, we haven't beaten them for a long, long time, if at all. Uh, and they beat Liverpool 4-0 last time out. So, you know, at least they're not in form. But this is the team we're sending out. It is mostly change. It's Bev Kwa continuing in goal. It's MB. He's a good player. I know he is. Come on, mate. Show us what you can do. And Bellic, he's been in fantastic form, particularly uh, at the other end. So we'll see how he does defensively here. Martinez and T Taimon are going to be the, uh, the wingbacks. It's McCrory in behind Sodlikov. Pro Prioste and uh, Jibing, who's been in great form. And then it's the two in four men up front. It's Nabian and Rosini. Both of them have scored goals recently. Rosini, look at Rosini's last five games. He's picking up some form there for us. So, yeah, let's uh, let's give him hell. All right, so we can see the lineups here. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is still their manager. It's a very good team they have, isn't it? So uh, we'll just have to do our best and see where that leaves us. Put on a worthy display. Just... Play your natural game, boys. Let's take a little bit of pressure off them here. We'll try pumping our fists. Say we have faith in them. And, um, well, that's one of my better team talks, I think. And here we go at Old Trafford. And this is, well, top of the table. 4-0 against Liverpool last time out. The definition of a free hit, this one, isn't it? Um, if we could take... i tell you what, I'd take another 0-0. It won't be a great episode for goals if that's the case. But if we can get out of Old Trafford with a point, um, I would be very, very happy indeed. Time on with a throw. I'm not quite sure what he's looking to do with that one other than give the ball away. Can McCrory get to that? He can't. And we find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. McCrory and Mimbi have tackled each other. Time on can't get back. It's a clearance from Jabing. It's still there, though, for Manchester United. Ball through, and it's 1-0. Well, it's not going to be 0-0. Um, yeah. McCrory and MB tackling each other was an interesting tactic, I've got to say. I don't think we've practiced it on the training ground. Good ball through from Pogba. Bellic maybe not quite close enough. And, uh, and well, there we go. One thing I would like to do in January, and our Colombian guy, as I think I said, arrives tomorrow in game. So by next episode, hopefully he will have, uh, well, he would have made his debut and be settling in. Um, okay. 
So yeah, one thing I would like to do is uh, is strengthen a defense in the January window. If a Kagbo leaves, I mean, it's not ideal, but it will be what it will be. So that'll be fine. Um, yeah, we'll look. We'll just we'll look to. I think we will look to strengthen. That is, I that well, I mean, it is the weakness of the team right now. I mean, but we weren't great in Europe in front of goal. We weren't actually at times terrible defensively, but. We still find ourselves now coming up against these sort of the, the top teams and really, really struggling to, to put in a, a decent performance. Um, let's try a demand more. Diogo is looking anxious there and playing like crap is not impressing me. We do have Leighton Clarkson on the bench. Now, he actually has done quite well when he's played for us. Uh, we've actually out xg them in that half, would you believe? I'm not quite sure how that's happened. Show me something different second half, boys. Um... Yeah, I mean, at 2-0, the next goal is is very, very important. I'm one... We'll give them a little bit of time. I'm wondering if we look to go to wingers. Um, of, I mean, the, the change in the tactic that we did, maybe I was a little bit too cautious in trying to sit back against them and, yeah, hit them on the break somewhat. Um, we've not really... We've not really threatened... Although the XG says we have threatened them, which is always, I mean... I find XG to be a little bit confusing sometimes because we haven't seen any highlights yet. We've got the higher XG, so it's difficult to know. Bevqua, what the hell was that, man? It's difficult to know exactly, you know, is what we're doing working. Uh, he's offside, I think, isn't he? Yeah. Um, because we have the higher XG, or, you know, we've only had three shots on goal, so that, you know, there must be decent chances we created. Navy, it has it. What's he get? Oh, Rashford against Bellic is a mismatch, and we've been saved by the post. Uh, let's... That's actually not what I meant to do. I meant to click on this. Let's give it a no-pressure shout. That seems to have worked somewhat, hasn't it? Come on, boys. Go and win this back for me. Can we get to that? No, we can't. Martinez is tucking in nicely. That's, uh, we'll let them shoot like that all day. What have we got? 25 minutes to play. Prostate is having another nightmare. I say another nightmare. He didn't. He doesn't play well against the good teams. Let's try switching those around. In danger of being... I mean, everybody else has been booked. Why don't you get booked as well? Taimon, I'm wondering if he's a little tired, actually. Uh, having played two games. Rizzini is not in the best of shape. Um, all right, it's not working. Oh, I missed the pause button there. Um, it's not working, so we'll switch to wingers. And, um, yeah, we'll keep faith with Navy and up top as a target man. Where are you? Target man, target man, target man. I'll make these changes, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've made two substitutions. Sodlikov and uh, Diogo have gone off. We've brought Red, uh, no, Redzini's going to play as a Roman tour, whatever that word is, out there. I think, well, he could do anything, really. So he's, uh, but Leighton Clarkson has come on, as has Castrati. Clarkson is the advanced playmaker. I think he can do it, so we'll see. And obviously, Castrati is a winger. Navy and up top as a target man. And, um, yeah, see if we can get ourselves back into this. Let's give them some encouragement. Can we get one goal? For the episode, as much as anything. They've gone down to 10 men, have they? Um, let's exploit the flanks. Pass into space. I don't know. Be more expressive. Let's get stuck in. We've got If they're down to 10 men, what's the worst that could happen? We end up on 10 men with them. We've got five minutes. Can we get something here? Demand more, boys. Come on, push for it. We might need to do some attacking training. I think we scored all their goals against Newcastle. In the end, they've out xg us, so we can't really complain, which I don't think we could do anyway. But it was just a slow start to that first half. Two goals in the first 20 minutes. And, um, yeah, well, it's cost us. So there we go. We end the episode where we started it on 30... Well, actually, we got an extra point, don't we? But inside the, uh, the European places, only just... I think this is our season now. We want to try... If we could catch West Ham, that would be good. Um, try and get back into the Europa League as opposed to the UEFA Conference League. 
Yeah, you know, and then if, uh, you know, win a cup or something, that would be nice as well, wouldn't it? But guys, that will do it for today. Uh, if you have enjoyed that, I don't know why you would have, but make, <laughs> make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll be back next time after some defense uh, attacking training, I should say. And we'll come back for the end of the transfer window. That's that one, two, three, four, five games. That's not too bad. Uh, so we'll come back for Norwich away, and then we'll be hosting Spurs in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final with Wembley on the line, and of course European football potentially if we win that as well. So that's all for next time, guys. Until then, open Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.